Welcome to Retro Tech. I wanted to do a special episode today. Uh, it's a first pickups episode that I'll be doing, and this was from the trip that I just finished up over the weekend to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Those of you who follow this channel for a little while have seen me working on a lot of Sony PVM 2030s, and I was just able to deliver those four to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. They were very pleased with everything. I actually had my assistant go with me and take some uh, video of the whole transaction and while they were testing the monitors, the whole behind the scenes thing at the museum. And I'm gonna edit that together because it needs a lot of editing. And I'll be releasing that later in a video series so you can just see kind of what it's like behind the scenes when I go in and just uh, offer and you know service some of these monitors. Uh, today, though, I want to again go over the pickups I made when I was going through the Northeast. I had to go through a long drive from Nashville uh, up to Northern Virginia and then up to Pennsylvania and then back down again and back to Nashville. So it was a big circle. And while I was on that route, I stopped at about eight or nine different thrift stores. Some were chain stores like Goodwill and some were just mom and pops local stores. Um, so I wanted to show you what I was able to get from those. Uh, so basically, let's just start with it. Obviously, the big man here is the Sony 27-inch uh, Trinitron. And this one, I'll take you around back to look at the back of it, but this one was made in 97. It's got an S-Video. It's got composite inputs. Uh, but it needs RGB. So let's just think about how we could, you know, maybe RGB mod this in the future. It's got a great picture on it. It was $15. It came with the remote. I was really shocked to even see it in the store. And so I picked it up while I was out on the road after I delivered. Uh, some other things I got. Uh, I went and I spoke with a nice lady who was a widow whose husband uh, was, a, was a, a friend of the family who used to do some video, video work in his house. And she uh, actually gave me this little monitor here, which is just a little 8-inch Sony PVM. Uh, you can tell by looking at it, it's got something wrong with it. One of the colors isn't working right on it, so it's going to need to be troubleshot and worked on. But I had to, of course, loop it up here. And uh, for obvious, what you can see in the background is I got this great special edition <laughs> Running Man DVD. And the reason I picked this up was a great, almost brand new, it was a dollar, but it had remastered, 4x3 format on the DVD, which it, I love that. So I can watch it on these. And this is running through S-Video, full screen, and it looks amazing on these uh, TVs. It's just a whole lot of fun to use it. Uh, let's talk about some other things. I was able to get this interesting toy from uh, Time Bandit Toys. This one uh, was in a thrift store for $3, and he's called... Frankie the Time Bandit, it's just some uh, vinyl collector's toy. It's worth about 30 bucks maybe, but uh, very interesting, got it for $3. Couldn't let it sit there in the box, brand new practically. Uh, I, I do go to Goodwills, and um, one of the things I love to look for in Goodwills is through their CDs and big box things that are not just where the DVDs are. Obviously I look through the DVDs and see if there's any games there. Uh, I love to get things like this, which this is nothing that special, but it's a big box PC game. These are getting harder to find, especially if they're complete like this one was. So I bought this one to just add to my collection. Now, some of the other things I was able to pick up. When I was in the Goodwills, one of them had a huge stack in the CD section of PlayStation 1 games. And, I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I said, oh my goodness, they just set it out maybe within a couple hours probably. And um, you can see here, every one of them's got a sticker on it, but it's got, I mean, it's some pretty amazing titles here. There's about 15 or 20 of them. Uh, none of them were too much more than, you know, they're all about $3. And none of them are that bad or anything. There's a lot of Crash Bandicoots. And this was the real score here, $2.99 for this Diablo. All these games work and are complete. And that's why you got to go look through that stuff. I mean, these are all pretty big name titles that will be easy sells uh, if I wanted to turn around and resell them. And Goodwills are different depending on what region of the country your Goodwill is in. So if you're in a Goodwill that's in the southeast, they don't tend to 
mark up all their stuff all the time. They tend to leave it out on the shelves and just try to get rid of it. So always look in there. I hate to give away my tips, but you know, that's, that's fine. Uh, now, I did get two bigger things and they were gifts from my father. And so we just went through Father's Day. I'm a father, a dad, and I just want to say really thank you to my dad for uh, helping out helping out Retro Tech. And again, so just wanted to say I hope everybody had a great Father's Day yes, yesterday and that uh, I wanted to say thanks to my dad for helping me get some things that were much needed for the channel. The first thing is this new, well, slightly new Nikon camera set, which will upgrade our quality of video here at Retro Tech. So look for the future videos to start becoming from this as soon as I figure out how to use it really well, uh, we're going to just roll right with it. So that's exciting. And the last thing is this big air compressor, which I'll just move around and let you see. A big air compressor here that will help complete some of those hard jobs and help cle and make cleaning a whole lot easier. It is August. 1997 KV27V26 27V26 and here's our inputs so what I'm gonna do in a future episode is take it apart and just see what it looks like inside we'll do some maintenance checks and some cleaning in there and then we will research how to RGB mod this monitor TV and uh, it will be in a few future episodes. I know this is a popular consumer grade television and people want to see what's possible with even consumer grade televisions. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode on pickups. I hope you enjoyed what, seeing what we got and please look again for future episodes on a lot of these things, especially this big tube and the smaller uh, PBM where we're going to have to do some repairs on it. And I also wanted to let you know that we do have a brand new Facebook page. It's just on Facebook you can look for Retro Tech. If you go there and like the Facebook page and follow it, that would help a lot too if you're interested. I'm going to be posting some exclusive content there and uh, I also will be opening things up for maybe a Q&A session for a future video and it would really help if we could get those questions in one central spot or even if you want to you could email me questions and then we could uh, go through and have a good Q&A session video uh, there's also, again, going to be more content coming on the Philadelphia trip, and I've got another episode that I had already taped about how to clean the inside of a PVM and why that's very important to get a lot of dust out of air. Even if you're not doing a lot of adjustments, it's still a very good idea to get the dust out of your PVM. And those episodes are already shot. They're just being edited right now. Uh, again, thank you everyone for supporting the channel, watching the videos, sharing, and subscribing. And as always, please leave comments if there's anything you'd like to see. Uh, gone over more details or questions.